coming up in Ms. Tastic. Anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. And my friend, today we are learning all about whales. I am so excited. Whales are so cool and majestic. Now, whales are large mammals that, of course, swim in the ocean. And because they are mammals, they breathe air, they have babies like other mammals, so not from eggs like reptiles or birds, but they have babies like live births, and they also produce, or they breathe air, they produce milk, and they raise their young. So did you know that the largest whale that lives on our planet is the blue whale? It's true, and it's super exciting. However, because we are not looking after our planet and the species that live in the oceans as good as we used to, there are also a lot less blue whales that now live in the oceans from today from before. So the population is declining and that can do have to do with a lot of different factors from climate change to the fact that humans have big ships in the ocean. At some point, people used to hunt whales. So it's really important that we conserve our oceans and the populations. We're thinking about who lives in them and take care of them as well. So today we're going to take a look at some different species of whales. So there is the orca, the beluga whale, the humpback whale, and a fan favorite, the narwhal. Now, if you are a fan of a narwhal, make sure you smash the like button on this video because then we can see how many people super duper love narwhals. I like narwhals too. All right, we're gonna head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a narwhal and then we're going to make an orca painting artwork. Let's make some art. Let's make a cute narwhal. Start off with a little horn. I'm gonna draw a curving line down on either side. Then we're gonna draw a curving line out on each side and bring it. Side. We'll draw a circle on either side for the eyes, and we'll add a smaller circle in each one. And then you can color in the dark of the eyes, keeping that small circle nice and white. Between the eyes, draw a line and connect with a letter U. Then we can draw a line from one side down to the bottom for a tongue and then we can color in the dark of the mouth leaving that tongue white for now. Next we'll add a belly for our narwhal with some spots around the body. shapes around narwhal. I'm gonna add some hearts because narwhal is loving. And then you're ready to color it in using your choice of colors and our making mediums.
is done. Let's paint a orca. Okay, we're gonna draw a nice big curvy line. Around, up, and down. Space and then we'll add a curving line and then we'll bring it back in, bring it back in. Now we got a pretty good wheel shape. Now we'll add our orca's dorsal fin, a circle around where the eye is, and then we'll add the eye. We'll add a spot on the back. And then we'll color in work on leaving those spots white. And we'll color in the fin, leaving that belly still. And then we'll add a wave across the background, making stripes. And then we're gonna pick choice colors, different brush and water. Pick choice colors of paint, temper paint, watercolor paint, whatever you have. This is tempera. We're gonna paint those stripes. Any choice colors.
And just like that, your Orca painting is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at MizArtTastic or use the hashtag MizArtTastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.